Good morning from Sweden. Today we are here at Karl Martin, which I believe is mostly a zoo, but it's also home to a wildfire, one of the craziest looking RMC coasters out there. So I'm really excited for that, and I love animals. Can't wait for the, uh, the gondola ride over the animals. That looks wonderful. Yeah, I'm really excited for we that. We took the hour and a half drive out here to in the middle of nowhere Sweden from Stockholm this morning. Easy drive though. Yeah, love the entrance sign. That looks really great. All right, let's go explore. Yeah. Well, where else are we gonna take you? Start the tour of Cole Martin, but wildfire. If you're a roller coaster fan, like I am, this is the reason why you've heard of this place. This is the reason why you want to go to this place. There is an RMC built on a mountain with some of the best views you'll ever see on a roller coaster. It is a long ride. It's built into the rock work and the terrain. Actually, it's a, one of the longer RMCs out there. You know, it's, it's not gonna be Steel Vengeance long, but I would say it's probably a similar length to like an Iron Gwazi. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, very good. Views, man. Yeah, you can't see it, but there is a giant lake over there. And some of the views you get from the high points of this roller coaster are absolutely stunning. And the lower points use the rock work. If, you, if you're coming here for this roller coaster, I really don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, flips you upside down three different times. Uh, really nice fast barrel roll towards the end. Uh, we, we decided to come across Sweden via car, pretty much to ride this roller coaster. And for me, for me, it definitely lived up to the hype. It was good. It was good. Molly, you really like the sign. I do. I like how it moves. So I love the don't bring your loose articles on the ride advertisement they have in the wildfire station. It's just all, a whole bunch of cell phones that have been destroyed by the roller coaster. One of the more adult rides in the park is this pirate ship located all the way the furthest back corner of the park. Delphin Express is the park's kids roller coaster or family roller coaster. It's located in the very back of the park. I love the front of the train. By far, that is the best part about this ride is that the front looks like a dolphin. But it is a very family friendly ride. Get ready, get ready. The dolphin car is coming. Dolphin car. Molly, I'm guessing Bamazi is the mascot of the park? Yeah, he has a fun hat. And I'm assuming much like Pooh Bear, he likes honey. Let's take a spin around Bamsey's World, which is gonna be the park's kids area. Home to their newest ride. I am not gonna try and pronounce it, but it's very cute. You ride in little cars and it spins around in a big old oval. And that stump there, you can buy hot dogs. That's always good. Yeah, I wonder if hot dogs take better out of a stump. In the back, you can see a kind of a spinning family drop tower. I really like their, their magic carpets. It's very pretty. Yes, with the elephant. Yeah, very similar to like the, the one at Walt Disney World that you'll find in Adventureland. Uh-huh. Or I think at Disneyland Paris here in the, uh, the park that's not as great. It's a pretty park, Disneyland Paris. No, the, uh, the, the ugly park, oh. the movie studio park. Yeah, yeah. There's a little kid's Adnib. balloon ride. Adnib. With Bamazes being a, uh, a honey-loving bear, it makes sense that they have a honey-themed ride. That makes sense, yes. And then Molly, this might be the most adorable ride in the park over here. Yeah. Look at these little cars. They're kind of cartoonish. Yeah. Probably something Bamazes would drive. Yeah. Or Bamsey. Might be Bamsey's world. <laughs> Molly, I'm not sure whose house is on top of this wonderful, wacky-looking mountain. Do you think it's Bamsey's? I don't know. It could be. This corner of the park is also home to a kid-friendly family roller coaster, as well as a rock and tug ship ride. Like many parks in Europe, something we don't have in America, but I wish we did, a big wheel of chance where you could win giant novelty candy bars. The town square area of Bamsey's World is also very, very cute. This restaurant here does serve Swedish meatballs. We were recommended to eat here. Right outside of Bamsey's World, you do have a, a pretty good sized playground with lots of stuff. Very big. Yeah, look at some of those slides over there. I like how it's a, like a castle. Yeah. I imagine it's very popular. Yes. Had to turn the camera back on because look at the, the big slide like down the hill. I like the Mario Girl routes that they have. It's very unique, different. 
merry-go-round. For us, uh, I mean, we saw one of those in a park in Stockholm. So. Uh, you have a kid that pedals. Yeah, th of three or four. Yeah. And a couple that could just ride. The second most famous ride at this park is the Safari, which is a big gondola system. And I love the entrance. Look at that. Just a heads up, the safari does get very, very, very long lines. So while your instinct's gonna be go to wildfire first, because that's the probably the reason why you're watching this video, you probably want to come here instead. You can also pre-book tickets. It's paid. Yeah, I have no. no idea. Their website is yeah, not great. Yeah, I was gonna say their website in English isn't the greatest, but I believe that's what we saw when we entered the table. Here you can see the gondola system, uh, very similar to like the Disney Skyliner, if you've been in that Walt Disney World. Just there's no glass, so you can see the animals better. And away we go. It's, I believe, a half an hour ride. You do get some great views of wildfire in the lake. This is the second enclosure of the sky ride. The first one we actually saw something. And you can see some ostriches eating. You're gonna go right over them. Along with some small deer-like animal over here. This looks like a baby llama. I believe we made it to an African section. I think those guys are Eland. We've got a whole bunch of Tommies over here. Now going right over one of the most famous African animals, the giraffe. Pretty sure that's a smaller giraffe. It's hard to tell from up here. You can see a giraffe sitting down and then some the big Watusi cattle. The wildebeest are hanging out like right underneath the turn. There's a couple of little elands. And found our first zebra. A couple of bison over here. They seem to be more like the North American standard bison. And they've got little bisons. Got a couple little deers or reindeers over here. Ooh, and we have stopped. Which means I could zoom in on that adorable deer. And There's two in some of them. The other one. And a couple of smaller deers as well. With their happy tail wagon. Possibly the most famous animal here in Sweden. The moose! I think these might be some baby moose. This one, Elliot, huh? Yeah, that could be. And I believe we found some baby deer right down there. Here's a better shot of the animals there. Have a little bath. <laughs> Couple of sleeping bears. The lions are doing what lions do, but oh, that's a that's a fun pose. And more lions, including the big male. Absolutely love the sky gondola ride. Don't miss it if you're coming here. It's so nice. The tiger exhibit is up next, and it's got a quite the elaborate entrance. We're currently in Tiger World and they have a, a gigantic enclosure, especially for tigers. And he's sleepy. Yep, taking a cat nap right in front of us. Look at the size of those paws. Tiger enclosure seems to go on for just forever. Over to this mountain area. And they're enjoying, they're watching something. Yeah. Maybe they're also thinking, what is that roller coaster not going? Huh? Me and you both, Tiger. And that was your moment of zen. 
This is wonderful. One of the tigers is sleeping on the jeep. Way over there, you can see an Asian elephant. He's walking away. Yeah. He's over it. A little warm today. I don't blame him. <laughs> over by the elephant enclosure, there is a nighttime house for the pachyderms. So you got a rhino hanging out right there. Sleeping. And then a big, big elephant. Huh? That rhino made noises. Well, I'll put the camera back on you then. You seem to like that. Yeah, he was like, don't move. The second elephant just wandered into the, the elephant house. And that was kind of fun to watch. That was wonderful to watch. Update, a third elephant has now wandered into the house. They're all eating hay and fruits. Right near the elephants is also a very large indoor-outdoor enclosure for the meerkats. He's on lookout. He's on lookout. I think I've ever seen them like sleep like this one. Is he asleep? Like, I don't know. His head's down. <laughs> yeah, he might be asleep. <laughs> Molly, this is like a dream enclosure for me. It is. Uh, Two of your Asian, favorite animals. Asian small clawed otters. I think there was a pup. I'm going to try and get some footage of it. And then up in the trees, way up there, is a red panda. It's amazing how much they can climb. Yeah. They're really Legitimately up there. two of my favorite animals seen in any zoo that are in the same enclosure. I can sit here all day. Another very large enclosure. This time is for a selection of South American animals. So you can see a Baird's taper over here. Um, there's also some capybaras. That's a smaller capybara right there. Yeah. Capybaras are awesome. There's also a really small animal in here called the Mara that I'm not sure I've ever seen them before. It looks like a rabbit. Yes, like kind of like a kangaroo and a rabbit mixed together. It's like all the way at the bottom of South America where they're from. You can see them a little bit. Look at all the capybaras, big capybaras. Small capybaras. That's a really small capybara. Oh, this is wonderful. I guess it's capybara feeding time. They have so many. I know. And some of them are so little. Way back there, you can see a Baird's taper, a little baby one. Oh, when they're young, they have a very different coloring pattern on them. Here's a good shot comparing the little taper to what I'm guessing is mom and dad. In the back of the park is something called Hope, which I think is dolphins. All right, so Hope is a big indoor dolphin show. You never really see indoor dolphin shows, so that's kind of interesting. No. And you can see some of the animals swimming around there. Big Jumbotron, that's pretty nice. And it just advertises all their other theme parks as a pre-show thing. If you go past the Hope area, there is a very, very large and also indoor dolphin arena. This is a very big you know, enclosure for these guys, as, yes. as far as you know, ones that you'd see in a zoo or aquarium. And I will say, a lot of the area at Home Warden, by most of the major enclosures, they all have bleachers and stuff. Like seating, a seating area. Yeah, whether you want to like have a picnic kind of, kind of food, just chill out and relax. And some of them are covered, some are not. But uh, this is a pretty good one. Yeah. And I guess it makes sense, since it gets so cold here in Sweden, you really couldn't probably have dolphins outside. No. One thing I think Komarden could really use is like a, uh, like an observation tower or a big balloon ride. You get some pretty good views of the lake on wildfire and on the sky ride gondola. But uh, there's some just beautiful, beautiful country over here. It is. Swimming away there is, I believe, a California sea lion. There's uh, at least two in here. Yes. There's like two levels of underwater viewing. And here is the above water viewing for the seals and sea lions. I believe they do a presentation here as well, like some sort of a show. Over here you get a pretty cool view of the lake and the, the country also. Another good size enclosure here. This one's for the chimpanzees. Would love to see them climbing around up in the trees. That'd be awesome. But I will settle for this one. He was peering at me from behind. That piece of wood. Yeah. 
I believe the keeper just came over as all the chimpanzees are now up and very excited. The next enclosure over from the chimpanzees is the gorillas. The keeper is currently throwing them food. You can see the big male right there enjoying whatever he caught. And behind him, little baby gorilla that I really can't see very well. Really, really baby. Looks like they have two baby gorillas. Oh, he's in a fun pose. These guys are pretty fun to watch. I feel like we hit this one at some pretty good timing. I believe the trainer for the Gibbons is about to throw them some corn on the cob. The Zoom's host to a wonderful African savanna habitat. Complete with a little baby guy right there. But no, there's, there's ostriches, zebras, a big old rhinoceros who's moving around. He's giant. Look at him go. I don't see any. There are supposed to be Red River hogs in here. Haven't seen them. Oh, everyone's moving for the, the rhino. Uh, I would but, too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a very big, gigantic savanna habitat. This is really, really nice. Um, there's also like a, a mini market area so you could have some snacks and just chill out and watch the animals. We're currently at the oxen enclosure, home to three different species of animal. You can see the yaks in the foreground, which are really cool. You don't get them in a lot of, uh, a lot of zoos back home. And then in the back is a species called the Kulon, which is this kind of horse. And Never then, heard of that species no. either. And then hanging out behind them, big old camel. All the animals heard the trainer's truck coming by. Oh, and look at that little tiny camel. And they all moved over here, which I'm guessing it's feeding time. Oh, even the yak's coming on in. With a cute little trot. <laughs> He's so excited. It's a good day for baby animals. There's a little baby cool on and over there it might be difficult to see a baby yak who's running around very excited they're all going to our fence yeah everybody is now <laughs> making their way to the fence <laughs> and here comes the food tractor everyone out of the way this guy already got some yeah he's so awesome hanging out right by the people you've got a couple of fun hornbills they like attention yeah. Maybe it's like Casanova. Maybe they are kingdom. like Casanova. And they have a giant aviary. In this arena here, they do a bird show. Now, I do have to say, if you don't have Wi-Fi, screenshot the times on the website. Yeah, because they don't have them like anywhere in the park. Yeah, we have no idea what time the bird shows were. We passed it on the way, yeah. entering, but who knows when the next one is. Right by the tigers, you will also find, I think it's pronounced Dole which is an Asian species of, I think they're an Asian species of fox. It's one that we don't wolf. see much. wolf, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful little animal. <laughs> they're making puppy noises. The snow leopards have a giant, giant enclosure. And there's two snow leopards, and they're both hanging out way over there. In the shade. Closing together as friends. This animal species here is a Takin. The zoo's brown bears have a nice waterfall and a mountain. Here is a nice fluffy eating sheep. He looks small. Yeah. His buddy with the horns definitely looks bigger. Yeah. And then over here is a barnyard section. So imagine more barnyard friendly animals. One of the pieces we were given by some listeners when it comes to Co Martin is obviously Wildfire and the Gondola ride. They're going to be all the way in the back of the park. 
and you want to come in, you want to take this escalator instead of walking up the hill. One thing that's nice about this, like compared to like zoos or theme parks in America, food's pretty cheap. Hot dog, two fifty. Not super hungry at the moment, but we did have a listener reach out and tell us, hey, you're gonna eat at the park. Reef Burgers is one of the two places to eat. Sharing a parking lot with Co Martin is the Tropicarium, which looks like some sort of an aquarium exhibit or attraction. Um, I, I don't know if they're related or not. Somebody let me know in the comments. But I, I think it's definitely an extra admission, so I don't think I'm gonna go. I, I honestly, I got real excited when I walked by the first time as I read that as Tropic Rum. And I, I thought it was a large distillery. I'm like, oh, then we were definitely gonna stop. I mean, I, I like lemurs and sharks and alligators, but uh, yeah, interesting. And that will do it for our time here at Co Martin. Um, I had a really fun time today. Couple, some information about this, not a cheap place to get into. I think our one day ticket was about 55 American dollars or roughly 550 Swedish crowns. So. Uh, you know, it, it, it is expensive. Lines can get long for rides. It was very hit or miss. Yes, but uh, one thing that we definitely learn while walking around, if a line is long, come back later. Yes, Like it we, really frustrates. Yeah, we saw uh, wildfire at like 40 minutes, and then when we rode, and multiple times when we walked past, we saw it at like a one or two train wait. Um, same with the safari. The safari puts through a lot of people. Yes. So either try to go there first or last, I think. Yeah. Um, Molly, what was your favorite part about Colmart in here? I, mine, mine was obviously the RMC. The wildfire was awesome. I loved the gondolas. It's yeah. very unique. Uh, you got a different perspective of the animals, and they have giant, giant exhibits. Yes, and, and, and that's for all the animals, not yes. just for the ones on the gondolas. This zoo has some of the biggest enclosures I've seen for a lot of the species that are out here on exhibit. We also saw so many baby animals. And animals eating, and uh, we talked to some friendly staff members, so from a zoo standpoint, I think they did really well. Um, I'll be curious how they expand in the future. There was a lot of people here. I'm sure they're making a lot of money. We spent about, what, five and a half hours here? Yeah, f five and a half hours. And I had fun. We could probably spend a little bit more, but time to get on the road. I'm excited for the future of this place. I think, you know, th this will be one to watch. Yes. All right, if you have any questions about Comartin, let me know in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching.